G'day guys and welcome to another episode of this Nathan Lyon career mode in Ashes Cricket and as you can see there in this episode we're going to be playing the uh, South Australian Redbacks nearly forgot their name there, it says right in front of me Redbacks but um, we're currently first on the tables, we're 3-0 at the moment and the Redbacks are 2-0 um, and I assume they're one game behind, I'm not quite sure um, but yeah, in a good spot and hopefully we can keep this uh, this top spot for a long time and possibly through to finals and things like that but um, before we jump into it I'd just like to thank you guys for the support I got on yesterday's video um, I actually really enjoy making those top videos where um, like the evolution of games and things like that we start off with cricket games next week it is going to be um, what is it AFL games I'm trying to think of the, the word um, it's going to be ev evolution of AFL games and it's going to be starting all the way from the first game basically ever made through to probably AFL evolution obviously so um, another similar video to yesterday's and I hope you guys go to enjoy that but uh, yeah let's jump into this game against the Redbacks and hopefully grab a few wickets with uh, Gary alrighty here we are at the SCG here's the toss Gary Lyon the captain it's always weird saying that but uh, as he tosses the coin up it is South Australian's call and they win the toss they choose to bowl first so um, I didn't see the conditions of the pitch but um, yeah it's from a little glimpse it sort of seemed pretty yeah, a little grassy through the middle there, but um, I'm sure we'll be able to handle it. And let's hope our opening batsman can get a few runs going. David Warner and Enriquez. Daniel Worrell to open the bowling. And here we go. Oh, geez. Quick start. Warner gets a 70, caught and bowled. And here we go. Straight back into it. Gathers getting into the bowling attack. And we'll just quickly check um, our batsman. So it looks like, oh, look at that. Steve Smith. Classic Smith, 139, and that's a really good score for him, from him. Larkin got a 50, Warner got a 50, and Patterson nearly got a 50. So a pretty good performance from our batsman. And uh, lucky for us, we've got a left-hander on strike. That is Gaz's favourite. I can tell you that much. Ooh, nice bit of turn. I like to see that. First ball when you see a bit of turn, that's always um, exciting to see. Yeah, another good delivery. Um, once again, my PlayStation, it's going spastic. Like, it just sounds like it's about to blow up. I think, it's, I think it's got a bit of dust in it. I need to clean it out a bit. But, um, yeah, sorry if that's loud, guys. Another good delivery there. Another dot. Three dots so far in this over. Oh, that's a bad ball. And no turn, obviously. And it's another dot, though, so we'll take it. Two deliveries to come in this over. Going to give him the douche run. Oh, he's going the big shot. It's almost found the fieldsman at mid-wicket, but it's gone past him. Might just slow up. Yes, good fielding out in there in the deep, and they keep it to three. So, uh, one delivery left in this over, and just three off it so far, and it's pretty good. Oh, geez, didn't mean to do that. I like to come um, around the wicket to the lefties. That's another dot, so just three off that over, and that's a pretty good start. Oh, what is that shot? It's gone for four. He's gone a bit of a scoop. I think that's what you call it. But it's almost on middle stump, that shot. And he's sort of backed away. And I just want to see the replay because that was such a weird shot. Very unorthodox. He's backed away. And he's just flicked it around the corner for a four. All right, so we've had a few overs break. And Alex Carey's still in. Same with Alex Ross as well, actually. Um, so Carey's on 43, nearly getting his 50. And Ross is on 10. Good ball to start things off. Oh my god. It's not LBW because he definitely he definitely edged it. And it couldn't uh, could have been caught because it off the edge, hit the pad and just bobbled out in front of him, so there's no chance for a catch. Bit of an unlucky one there for us. Good ball there. He's played it well, Carey. And it should just be two. They might squeeze three. No, it'll just be two. And uh, yeah, another good ball. We're getting a lot of turn on this pitch, but. Just, um, yeah, we're not really putting in the right areas at the moment. Once we find that spot, we're going to be very deadly. That's not a bad spot there. Maybe a little fuller and try and get him on the front foot. Going to go with a toppy with a bit of flight. This always seems to be the, the signature delivery from Gaz. Oh, <laughs> I think he's edged that. I'm pretty sure I've heard something. And there you go. That's why it's the signature delivery. That's Alex Carey gone. Didn't get his 50. And it, it's, it's such a weird wicket because... He's just gone for a little flick out to the offside. 
There was no turn whatsoever. That should have been probably almost hit for six. It was right in the slot, and he somehow edged it. Straight to the keeper, Pete Neville. Good catch, good reactions catch. Not that it did much, but still. We get our first wicket, one for 13 off just about three overs. And I'm really happy with that. Oh, catch him. Oh, very close, one bounce. And that's a really good second over. I think it's a second over, might be a third over. Um, we've got a wicket and two runs, so we'll definitely take that. Catch him! Oh, geez, that was in the air for a while. Maybe I should bring mid on up. Then I guess I'll probably get smashed with six over his head, but I'm just going to leave him there. But, geez, that was in the air for a long time. Same with that one. And really close again. Geez, Alex Ross just can't seem to get us away at the moment. That's a, that's a better shot. I'll give him that. That could be four, actually. He's timed it very well. And it's four. So two really bad shots where they've almost been caught on the onside. And then he plays that. Jeez. Big change of fortune from Carey. Another pretty good uh, delivery there again. Another dot. So four of this one so far. Let's hope we can keep it to four. And yes, we will. So uh, four of that over, as I said. And I think we're currently about one for 17, maybe. Let's have a look, actually. I think we're 1 for 17 off about 4, which is really good figures. Yeah, exactly right. 1 for 17 off 4 overs, and that's a good start for us. Hopefully these next 6 can be even better. That's a good ball. We got carry out with this delivery, so I'm going to try it again. Top spin, flight, and we're going to give it... Um, we're going to pitch it up, I should say. And it's, once again, there's no turn, so... Again, I don't know how carry bloody edge that delivery, because it's just a straight ball. I mean, there's a bit more bounce, but... Really, that should be almost, you know, oh, catch him, turn around, that's going to be four. If that was DBC 17, that would have been caught, because that's, those catches always seem to be really overpowered. Where they'd be, like, backwards to the play, all of a sudden they'd turn around and just pluck it from thin air. <sighs> but yeah, don't want any more of those, those um, boundaries, but I guess you can't really help that sometimes. <laughs> Oh, not a bad ball. Might call, be a, call a wide. Oh, he's called it a wide. I was just about to say, but he doesn't call that a wide, but it was just going down. They only nearly flicked him on the, the pad or the, um, the whatever it's called, the hip, I should say. But Alex, uh, is it Alex Ross, I think? Um, yeah, he's starting to take Alex Carey's position in scoring the runs. He's currently on 36. That's a pretty good shot from Ludeman. Um Yeah, one delivery, two deliveries left in this over. I really want to get Ross because he's probably the key in these things now. There's six for 159 in South Australia. And if Ross, if he gets out, I reckon that'll do him. But, yeah, risky stuff. Oh, good shot there from Ludeman. And that is the over done. Just two off it, including that wide. Oh, that's a pretty good shot there from Ross. Should make its way to the boundary. They'll get, get, definitely get two, though. And that's, the, that's his 50. So, um, pretty good innings from Ross. Um, I think we had a couple of chances there where we could have had him out. But uh, he's just, yeah, gone on to get a 50. And hopefully we can get him out very soon. Because, um, as I said, he's probably the key to this innings. We've found the edge, but it hasn't carried. And I don't know why we've got a fly slip in. It's exactly the same as last game. I haven't noticed it. That really should be, that's probably my fault. I should have him at first slip. Look at this, hang on. Why the hell have we got a fly slip? When have you seen that before? If he was at first slip, we'd probably be too far at the moment. But, uh, yeah, because I'm the captain, that's probably my fault. I just didn't notice that field position. And, uh, it was Ross, I think, as well. So, really costly, that. As you can see there, South Australia require 172 off 94 deliveries. So, even with Ross, if he can carry his bat to the end, they're probably not going to get the runs because... Yeah, they've got a fair bit, fair bit of work to do at the moment. Oh, how is that? That's got to be close. That's got to be close. Not out, he says. And we don't have a review, so I'm definitely going to check it myself. Match review, big eye. That looked very close to me. It's either just going down leg or it's too high. And I reckon it might just be... Oh, actually, it's probably pitched. I mean, hit him outside, yet. Yeah, impact outside off. That's what I'm talking about. But look at that. Straight in the middle stump. That's unlucky, but it's a really good ball. A lot of turn on that, and I'm happy to see that. Oh, it's a nice shot straight to the fieldsman. 
Oh, what the hell has happened there? I'll, I'm speechless because I thought it hit the stumps at first and I was about to celebrate, but then all of a sudden I see it fly over the keeper's head somehow. I'm sorry, but I've got to have a look at that. That's just weird. Hang on a second. So, slow it down, move up a bit. I don't know what's going on here. Hang on. So, what's happened here? It's gone basically through Peter Neville's leg and it's just flown to the boundary basically. But, um, yeah, I haven't seen that too often, I must say. That's a bad ball, almost fisted up there. And that's a good shot from Ross. That could be another boundary to him. And he is. There you go. Takes him to 64. Been a really good innings from him. Really shaky at the start, I can tell you that much, but he's uh, turned this into a really good innings. And could be another one from Ross. Hang on. It could get there, and yes, it does. That's four fours in a row. I mean, no, three fours in a row, if I can count properly. This is our final over to be bowled, by the way. We've already bowled one delivery, and it's been a dot. So we've got five deliveries at Ludeman, possibly. And let's hope we can get him out. Let's hope we can get a couple of wickets this over. That'd be a really good way to finish this episode off. Because they're not... They're, South Africa, they're not... Um, South Africa. South Australia, I should say. They're not likely to get these runs. I think they need about 140 off 70. So, yeah, it's going to be tough for them. But, um, yeah, it's been a pretty, pretty good performance from both sides, I must say. I think Century to Smith, 50s to Warner and Larkin. And now look at Alex Ross, just about to head into the 70s. He could possibly get 100 too, so better watch out for him. How's that one? Actually, no, it can't be out. It's definitely hit him outside bloody the stumps, so yeah, no way that's out. And there you go. So uh, that's how I was done. Finish it with a maiden. I'm pretty happy with that. And now all we can do is simulate, and hopefully we get the win. And there we go. I'm sure we got the win. Yes, we did. We win by 61 runs. That's a pretty good victory. We are now 4-0, I think, in the uh, the standings. So, um, really good performance uh, in the season so far. And uh, player of the match goes to Mitchell Stark. He got 3 for 60. And did he get any runs, Starkey? Let's have a look. No, he didn't have to bat. So, 3 for 60 for Stark. What did Gaz end up with? We had 1 for 45 off 10. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Two maidens uh, in the uh, 10 overs. So, yeah, really good performance. And hopefully next episode we can get a few more wickets. But uh, yeah, that'll do it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like. And also subscribe to future content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.